Hey dear friends, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Biname or Bina, if you would like. So we thought we'd do something a little different since um, we've been kind of sitting down doing some more serious topics. <laughs> so we thought we'd take a break and actually teach you guys a tutorial on how to make a Congolese snack called galette. So some of the ingredients that you need are two cups of self-rising flour, about a half a cup of castor sugar, not your regular sugar, and about two tablespoons of needle, which is powdered milk, and two tablespoons of vanilla extract, and then an egg to keep things all together. And I like to use um, cooking spray. You can use any um, cooking spray you like, or you can use butter, you can use coconut oil, any substitute will do. So what we're basically gonna do is we're gonna take the two cups of flour and pour them into your mixing bowl. I just thought I'd be fancy and keep it all white. <laughs> But this is not my mixing bowl. <laughs> so, and then we're gonna add the castor sugar and we're just gonna go ahead and mix it uh, really well. And what you wanna do is mix it so all the sugar and the flour are equally mixed throughout or thoroughly mixed. I know this is different than what you're used to, right? Like, really be now we're doing a cooking show? No, I just thought it would be neat, like a neat add-on to our little series, right? How many of you guys know how to make Kungolit um, snacks? Comment below if you do. And then I'm gonna add my needle or powdered milk. I like needle because it has a distinct flavor to it and taste. You can definitely tell when needle is in something. And you're just mixing it very well. I use a fork, but you can um, use a whisk if you like. And I'm gonna crack an egg. So, and oh, I for, how can I forget? You also need butter. Now with the butter, you're not, it's kind of hard to say because you have to um, add it as you go so you get a feel of the consistency that you want. I like it very soft. If you're a baker, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's not gooey, it's not hard, it's like a, a smooth consistency, which you'll see. So start by adding maybe two tablespoons of butter. I, I think we're gonna end up using about anywhere between seven and nine, but I'm not sure yet. So, make sure your hands, of course, are washed, or is washed, your hands are washed. And we're just gonna start mixing, and then this is the longest part. So this should take you about, oh, 20 minutes to do everything. And what you wanna do is just mix and keep mixing using your hands. And the point is to get the butter to mix with all your dry ingredients. Comment down below if you've ever had galette and what your thoughts on it are. I have not had this snack in over 20 years, so I am definitely excited and was very excited to make it for my family, and they really, really liked it, which gave me a little boost. We're going to add a, another tablespoon of butter and just keep working it. The best butter, of course, is um, baking butter, but I like this because it's organic and it has a really amazing flavor. Just keep mixing.
and more butter. If you're on a diet, just close your eyes. <laughs> uh. And once you do try this recipe, guys, comment down below and let me know how you liked it. Um, I have had my husband asked, Jory, if you guys don't know who he is and you're new to the channel, he asked me, what would you compare this to? Like a cookie or, or a donut? What is it? I said it's more, more butter, more of a cookie than anything. Now that we're starting to get a little close, I'm gonna go ahead, take my um, vanilla extract and just add it. Now, I said two tablespoons, but I tend to get generous sometimes <laughs> and add a little bit more. Yes, yes, I can see it turning now. I'm excited. The kids, are excited to eat more of this they really really like it so adding the vanilla definitely helped with the consistency I was wanting just keep mixing and if you guys try it and you enjoy it do comment down below if you would like to see more recipes. I really, really love cooking. And before, <laughs> before Jordan and I got married, it was one of the things I was really nervous about. Like, oh, is he going to like my cooking? <laughs> because I love to do it. And on top of that, I wasn't making like American food. I was making African food. He liked it. <laughs> So yep, just keep kneading. And what you're gonna do after this process, you're going to go ahead and make them into little balls, which I'll show you guys in a minute. And we're gonna just go ahead and reuse the bowl that had flour on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to see the consistency. And it looks pretty good. It's not too soft like gooey and it's not too hard where it's crumbly. The first time I made it, it crumbled a little bit, but I think it's because I um, I didn't add eggs or an egg. So I thought I'll give it a little try and add egg and I like the consistency. You don't want to make them too big because they're supposed to be these cute little pastry. So yeah, so the ball is going to look just like that and you drop it in there. So I think we used about, oh, I don't know, five to seven tablespoons of butter. All right, so the balls are made, just like so, and I hope you can see the nice consistency. And what I did here was I plugged in my waffle maker, and it's on power, and it's gonna sit for a while until I get ready, but, and then you get to choose like the, the complexion of the galette. I don't like it extremely dark, and I don't like it extremely uh, light. I like it like that golden um, brown so hopefully I can achieve that um, so we're gonna go ahead like I said I had already had it started and just spray so you don't need a whole lot you might not even see anything come out and then you're just gonna simply place the balls in the middle these things are so good Oh, so good I'm just gonna close it up and mine is a flip so I just flip mine and when that goes off I know that it's ready this doesn't 
take long the galette in the waffle maker approximately like a minute or two if that um, and that's pretty much it there's not a lot to it I love it because it's not a lot of mess to clean up all everything that I use is in within this vicinity right here so I love it and like I said we're just gonna go ahead and just wait you can see I can smell it oh. I ain't got no business eating this. <laughs> but my excuse is I'm still breastfeeding. <laughs> and Ellie has to have some good milk, okay? <laughs> right, so our galette is ready. So let's take a look. So this part you want to be extremely careful because the galettes are extremely delicate. And it might break if you're not careful. Oh, that's hot. You just set it on there and the consistency the taste or the texture is mild to mild hardness it's not like a brick tough but it is crunchy it's supposed to have like a crunchy taste so you you don't cover it you leave it out so it can air out and get um, harder and then it's ready to be served and I'm a little extra so once they cool I'm gonna show you guys a beautiful display of the gullets for your guests. And now we're gonna add more. And you just keep going until these things are all baked. When you guys get back, I'll have milk and gullets ready for you guys to eat. Hey dear friends, I interrupt you now to bring you a brief announcement. I wanna let you know we're gonna be putting out two videos a week through the end of the year, I now return you to your regularly scheduled programming. So there you have it. The galettes are done and ready to be served, like so. And you would normally have it with milk or any kind of um, drink you want, but it does go really well with milk. And I hope you guys, and I hope you guys really give this a try at home and comment down below and let us know if you did try it and what your thoughts were on it. I'm gonna try my best to go ahead and link the recipe and the ingredients of what you'll need in the description box. So for more information, just go down there and check it out. Thank you guys for so much for watching and I hope you've been watching our parts one through five, or now six, <laughs> of Congo versus US, all things, all things. And uh, with that, dear friends, keep looking up.